What's going on everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to teach you how to become a speed demon. <laughs> before I get started, make sure you turn on your push notifications and before you do that, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and hit that like button. Speed drills is something that you would utilize to help build your speed so you can run faster either down the track, away from the cops or catching some criminal, whatever one you want to do. Typically, you want to do speed drills after an easy workout or maybe if you have a little bit more gas in the tank. Perform these speed drills around two times a week, maybe three, and then you'll be closer to being faster than the next day. With this workout, do roughly three sets. And if you feel like you can do more, maybe go for four. That, that kind of rhymed. <laughs> but regardless of what you do, these speed drills are going to feel like a workout. So don't let my smoothness fool you, all right? <laughs> Initially, you want to start off with a nice little warm-up. I like to warm up about five minutes or maybe for a mile before I start my actual run. Now the jog is going to be relatively slow, so take your time and run on some soft ground. The next thing you want to do is perform dynamic stretching. Now with dynamic stretching, you want to make sure the stretch is going to be related to the workout you're going to actually do. So if you're doing some leg workouts, make sure you're not just doing arm stretches, okay? And now it's time to start the workout. Bounding is all about exaggerating a running movement. So what you're going to do is focus on getting that air time. This will increase the lower body's power. It will also help you maintain your form. So we're doing butt kicks a little bit different here. This workout is going to target your hamstrings. So focus on bringing that ankle right under your butt. Now there are many ways to do this, but this will help boost your speed if that's what you're looking for. Ensure that you pump your arms and get up to about 20 kicks per leg on each set. When you're doing high knees, you want to make sure you stand tall with your feet roughly around shoulder width apart. Keeping a forward lean, move forward, bringing your legs as high as possible. Your feet should land directly under your hips. This is going to help improve your knee lift and your speed. High knees are great for building your hip flexors, so do about 20 on each leg for the first set. Running backwards actually helps you get your energy back. <laughs> I'm just I'm just playing. But actually, it's going to increase your core and lower back muscles. So if you have a problem with your core and your lower back, this is the workout that you want to do. It's going to strengthen your glutes and your hamstrings. Grapevines. All right, so coordination with grapevines is a must. Don't trip over your feet. Start off slow and then pick up the pace when you get more comfortable with this workout routine. The lower you bring your body, the harder this workout is going to become. Stay on the balls of your feet when performing this move. And remember, go slow if you need to. Just to reiterate a couple things, make sure you do these workouts around twice a week. And also make sure you drink plenty of water and stay hydrated because this is going to be an outside event. Find some soft ground and start picking up that feet and getting a little bit faster in the way. With that being said, I hope you guys liked the video. If it helped you out, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your push notifications. And if you have anything that you want to meet, to do on the channel next, make sure you listen down below and I'll see what I can do to get to it. All right, I'll catch you later. Peace.